Russian drummer boy. Welcome outside. For the first time ever, we're under pressure this morning, aren't we? Under a little <laughs> a bit, bit of pressure. pressure. A little bit of pressure. But we will endeavour to get through it no. as best we can. What are we doing? We didn't... Do you remember last week we made the mince yeah. meat, Aidan, and we had mince pies? Now, people, I got several requests afterwards to make the pastry that I made for the mince pies. Okay. But I want to do a little little twist on the mince pies today. Make Baked Alaska mince pies. All right. So first of all, we're going to make the pastry. But hang on, baked Alaska mince pies, so there's going to be ice cream in it. Correct in one. Fantastic, OK. Correct in one. Now, in there, all I have right. nine ounces of our Odlum's cream plain flour. Yep. I'm after adding the wrong sugar now there, because I'm under pressure. It should have been uh, two ounces of icing sugar. All now, right. the only difference that'll make is I'll have a coarser pastry. OK. But I'm sure you won't worry about oh, that. We'll live with that. We'll live with that. You'll survive yeah. it, OK? Take it out of a shoe. So pastry. two ounces of icing sugar, or okay. caster sugar, nine ounces of Odlum's cream plain flour. Lovely. And here I have five ounces, 150 grams, of butter at room temperature. Okay. Now, in this time at room temperature, room temperature how do? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard, rock hard. So we just coarsely rub the margarine through oh, the flour. And don't spend too long at this. Just use the tips of your fingers to get pieces of almonds or um, pieces about the size of almonds or half walnuts okay. mixed through the flour. We're now That's going well. to bind those ingredients with two egg yolks, the two egg whites Aidan I've kept back to make the meringue. For later, okay, yep. yeah, of course. So we're going to put it. some, a little bit of cold water, about three to four tablespoonfuls. But what I recommend is you add the water to the egg yolks okay. and just combine the eggs in the water, but just gradually add them to the dry ingredients, okay? Yeah. Because, as we've said many, many times before, it's easier to take, to add more water than to take some out. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Now, you just bring that together to form your pastry. Okay. I say we need, we need most of it today because that marge, or that butter rather, is very cold. So All you just right. bring the mixture together until you're left with a lump of dough. In other words, your mixing bowl is left practically clean. Okay. Now, can I tell you, this pastry, Aidan, freezes very well. So okay. even this time of the year, get your pastry made and into the freezer, the freezer. for your mince pies, OK? Take it, when you take it for right Christmas up to Christmas. Yeah. Well, whenever you want to make your mince pies, okay. coming up to Christmas, OK? Yep. So you just continue with that to bring it together until you form a lump of dough. Cover it, put it in the fridge for about... Half an hour, if possible, okay. preferably overnight if you're not freezing it, OK? Yeah. Now, with your hands, just work it together, as you Bring see there, nicely, yeah. and um, cover it into the fridge. Then you roll it out okay. and you either line your bun tins or, as I find, line your oh, pie dish there with minced meat. Put it in the oven for about 10 minutes. That's gorgeous. OK? Yeah. And then we're going to put onto that the... Now, this can be done in advance as well in that you can... Do people still put suet in? Some people do. We talked about that last week, Aidan. Yeah. Um, awesome. yeah. I prefer to use, actually prefer to use melted butter, which oh, I have okay. in mine. Oh, now, right. here I have the two egg whites, which I've whipped, stiffly beaten. I'm yeah. going to gradually beat in my 125 grams, four ounces of, ice, of caster sugar. Okay. And you just beat until the mixture has thickened, and you end up, you'll feel it thickening. It'll be shiny and thick. And you'll see it actually thickening. Um, you'll feel it thickening with the beaters. Lovely, yeah, yeah. Okay. You'll see it as well. Now, I might get you to open that for me, Aidan. Yum, yum. Because if you're making individual mince pies, you would put spoonfuls of the ice cream into your individual yeah. mince pies. This or is a Corin full Hill block. as well. Corin Hill, yeah. Or a full block if you're using it in the full round. So you have a choice oh, yeah. here. Our friends you can use it either, as I say, in individual mince pies or okay. they full make ones here. Corin, they make beautiful ice cream. Sorry, this, ice cream. just a, a little bit there didn't come across. Get it out there? Yeah. Now you just put the block of that's the best bit. Thanks, Aidan. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have it. Okay, one block. So like, I like to the whole block. The whole block. Yep. Nothing to bin there beside you. Much. The whole block on top, and then we just pile on the meringue. Okay. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Looks great. Yeah. So now just a bit, little bit different. Yeah. yeah very good idea. Now what you do is you just seal in the ice cream. So when okay. it comes to serving it, you actually have your hot minced meat, yum. your hot pastry and your cold ice cream in the middle. OK. So just to make sure that you have the ice cream well sealed in, then you put it into the oven at 180 centigrade. Look at that, yeah. OK. OK, ice cream's well sealed. 200, 200 centigrade, 400 Fahrenheit gas, Look mark six. Yeah. Have I sealed it there? That's just a little bit there, that's perfect. OK, now I think I've it all done. Just yeah. seal it in, like okay. your regular baked Alaska. Careful, and we're going to put this into the oven and take out the individual mince pies. OK, they're looking well. Which you're going to sample, are they all right? They look very well, yeah, nicely browned. Oh, done okay. to a turn. That's the one. As we always. got the timing perfect, didn't we? That's always Even if my blood pressure was going through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> so we were getting ready with the old. Stand back, everybody. One, two. OK, you've got <laughs> that on. in. Put them up here on the plate. Now, look at this. OK. They're just wonderful. And you don't, you don't need to serve them, I think. They serve them on their own because there's ice cream in it, isn't there? Look at them. Get, get them into you fast, as the okay, fellow says. Before they melt. Before the ice cream melts. So there we have our oh, look at that. mince pies. Now, the recipe is actually on our... 
Christmas leaflet, which we have here. Where can we get that? WW, no, sorry, self addressed, your name and address to Catherine at, at Odlums Ballymount Dublin 12. Okay. Or on the internet on our www.odlums.ie yeah. or your. Yeah, the picture enabled phone. If you have that, MMS 57199 is the text line number. You can text the word recipe to 57199. There's the details on the screen. We'll send you a recipe each and every week for a euro until oh. you tell us to stop. And uh, we'll have the whole thing online again from 12 o'clock today. You can see the whole demo again. And uh, any queries? Are we doing a Q&A session after oh, this? Oh, brilliant. So double, double, double dose of Catherine. Double dose of Catherine. TV3 any queries, get them into us. Forward slash Ireland AM. Look at that. You can see the ice cream, the meringue and the, the meat all coming together nicely. Isn't that fantastic? But you must eat them fairly quickly. And that has never been a problem for me, I can assure you. That's good. Here we go. <laughs> okay. There's Pete into us now. He's in already, yes, yeah. with, his, with his Scottish hat <laughs> and his dog in a duffel coat. <laughs> All right, Catherine, that was brilliant. Thank you very Fantastic. much. Don't forget, if you want the leaflet, you can get hold of Catherine's team and uh, send them a stamp address envelope. Make sure you put your Name address and by address return on it. Yeah, very important. Yeah. Now, let's go back inside the studio.